Hi there, my name is Oman Degas, welcome to another video. So, uh, recently, is it recently, I think about a month ago, I had an opportunity to shoot graduation uh, for some students and uh, this video will sort of distill my experience, the things I learned from that uh, session, right? One thing that we should uh, be clear about, is it, should we be clear about that? Let's call it decolonization of photography right because there's a lot of chapters or things in africa that we're decolonizing in this uh, what's in this day and age right so what you would normally expect or want to happen in a graduation is that everyone will have their photographer and the photographer will shoot them before during the thing and after and that's done right i think that's how they do it normally the, the, the pictures i see it's like they do that the photographer can obviously shoot multiple people but uh, sometimes you can just have one person who's gonna pay you really well to have you take pictures the whole day that's the best case scenario if you have a case like that take it right this thing of uh, shooting everyone at the same time so i was shooting about i shot about 11 people Right, they're graduating at the same session, so they're coming out all 11 of them. I think I shot 11 people. No, 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 maybe nine. Two of them in the first session, then maybe nine on the other session. Uh, how I managed to do this, I think it was only because I knew these people, so this was my class graduating, and uh, so I knew most of these people, so they, they also told that they, there's going to be some waiting time beforehand so that's how i managed to shoot a lot of people but don't do it it's too stressful oh do it for the experience it's too much it's fun but man okay and the first thing is the second thing to tackling is the fact that man means to means the thing that we have to, to tackle is the fact that these people are graduating with a, an, an accounting degree computer science degree or whatever they're not graduating with a degree in photography that you should get to your head these people don't know anything about photography you are the photographer you should be teaching them how to start literally everything you know about the camera or how to take a picture take it as if these people don't know anything right you'd have a far better time with your photo with your sessions in that way right another thing you should know your style as a photographer and uh, it's a lot of moving parts so if graduation people are moving out right so everyone maybe hundreds of people are busy here pe families taking pictures and whatever it's crowded right your style as a photographer goes out that one you should not even worry about maybe try to nail the composition make sure lines are straight in the background and whatever but even that sometimes doesn't work and you shouldn't uh, be too hard on, on yourself if that does, if that doesn't work right and also another thing uh, as i've said people don't know anything about photography or taking pictures people don't know also how or um, what it takes to make a good photo the editing and whatever and they they can't say like people can say this is a good photo which puts a lot of pressure on the photographer because this you know that this person is going to accept anything that you're going to give them they don't know anything about photography and uh, people just think because you have a camera uh, you're now a photographer which is a problem i'm not sure how people survive with pictures that are not edited you're supposed to edit your pictures people are posting Another thing is, I was cutting pictures, right? Size them for Instagram, Instagram stories and whatever. Perfectly sized. People were posting the unedited versions of those pictures and taking me in those. I'm not sure how does that work. And another thing is, people, hey, I'm saying people a lot, but sometimes other clients will think that your skill is not really a skill. I, I think you should learn this as a photographer that some people are going to undermine how skilled you are and how difficult your job actually is i have fun most of the time when i'm shooting uh, i have fun uh, even while editing so maybe people would think that it's easy because i make it look look that way i've seen some trying to edit my pictures <laughs> man it's a disaster right and also another thing is 
I'm talking too fast. It's a lot of moving parts, shooting families and in the graduation setting, right? So you'd find that it's five, six people and you have to make sure that in this picture, no one is blinking, which is a problem. But people don't care about that as well. No one is talking, but people are happy. You can kind of skip that, but as a perfectionist, to put it, you'll see that the picture is ruined. People don't care about that. As I've said, it puts a lot of pressure on you that your clients don't know anything about photography and they accept any kind of work that you just give them. It's a problem. Uh, I think I've said nobody cares about your photography style. Just leave that out. A lot of people, it's a lot of moving parts. And then uh, nobody cares how the image looks as well. Another thing is, uh, so while editing, I think I put the, the editing part in the first part of this video. The, I actually recorded the time lapse while, while editing. Another thing I've learned with the eyes hurting while editing too much is that you should, should use cold water. Just put them in your eyes like, like this. Let me show you. So if you put them like this until your eyes get very really cold and then they whatever that's how you take a break and continue on with the editing right so what helped me with shooting nine people is the fact that uh, these pictures must must come out as soon as possible right so i was editing uh, for long long hours sitting here and it made me feel like a beast afterwards right right now when i have a shoot the editing part although it's different right for different locations and whatever but i'm much much more confident in my skill and i found out that i'm charging too low right my uncle who had an experience in photography when i told him my prices he told me that i'm charging too low and i saw that as well that i was charging people too low some other thing is in business okay this this is getting out of hand I think those those are the things that I learned I learned about uh, shooting graduation it's a lot of moving parts some people are gonna undermine your skill hey you should accept sort of that then it's not about your style hey, what's this? people don't know about photography they're graduating with a, an accounting degree computer science degree or whatever they don't have a degree in photography they don't know anything that, that's what I'm trying to say and they don't know how a good image looks, what makes up a good image. Those are the things I learned about photography. Other than that, it's just fun, man. Shooting the thing. My class, obviously. Uh, also, the morning morning session was in my class, but also that was fun as well. Uh, yeah, it's a moving environment. You have to be quick. So my camera shoots five pictures per second, right? So I found out that day that I always knew that it was slow, but on that day it seemed too slow shooting only five FPS, right? And that I managed under the circumstances and I came out with very good pictures. Right? Yeah, that's been it. So my thing you see uh, with the experiences of the graduation ceremony. Hope this helps somehow. Yeah. Peace.